Elon Musk appeared at Twitter's California headquarters as his $44 billion takeover of the social media platform was beginning to sink in. Musk, who'd already changed his Twitter title to Chief Twit, confirmed the news in, you guessed it, a tweet on Friday morning. But it's how free the bird will be that is of most concern to users. His first move was to fire CEO Parag Agrawal and top executives. It's no secret that the Tesla CEO thinks there's far too much censorship on Twitter. There are concerns amongst people that I spoke to that people or accounts that have engaged in disinformation or misinformation or forms of harassment or bullying may be allowed to stay on the platform in a way that they previously have not. Musk previously said he'd reinstate former President Donald Trump, who was banned in the wake of the January 6th riots. Trump responded on his own social media platform Friday that he was happy Twitter is, quote, now in sane hands. But Musk announced plans to form a content moderation council, saying no major content decision or account reinstatements would happen before they met. And appealing to advertisers, Musk tweeted that Twitter obviously cannot become a free-for-all hellscape where anything can be said with no consequences. Musk has pledged to follow the law of the land, but that is a concern in authoritarian countries where Twitter has historically resisted calls to take down anti-government tweets. Some of those rules are going to mean that uh, people in certain countries are going to have a very locked down version of, of Twitter, whilst others are going to have a much more freewheeling experience. It's going to be a minefield for him to, to operate. After nine years as a publicly traded company on Friday, Twitter, now under Elon Musk, filed paperwork to have its shares removed from the stock market on November 8th, the first official step to going private. While some employees were terminated on Friday, Musk has pushed back against reports that he planned to cut 75 percent of staff. But he has not denied that big changes are ahead. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.